Hey everybody, this is Transformatron bringing you another video review. Finally, it's been a hot second. Um, today, we're going to be taking a look at Miranda Lambert's debut album, Kerosene. But before we actually get into the album, as always, a little bit of background information about said album. So, as I said, this is Miranda Lambert's debut album. It was released on March 15th, 5th, blah, 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 March 15th. 2005, so it's been out for a little while, and it's around 46 minutes long, so it's not too short, but it's not too long either. So, this album spawned four singles. Um, the first one was Me and Charlie Talking, which is track seven. Uh, Bring Me Down was the second one, which is track six. Kerosene, which was a major hit. Uh, it was the first song on the album and the uh, title of said album. Um, and New Strings, which is track four, was the fourth. Oh, that's funny. Fourth and final single from this album. And she helped write all but one of these songs. And the one song she didn't help write was track five, which is I Can't Be Bothered. So, um,. Yeah, uh, I'm sure y'all already know who Miranda Lambert is, or at least a little bit. Yeah, she's pretty twangy, usually, which I'm fine with because I, I don't care. I'm fine with it. Anyway, so I'm going to take a look at the album artwork and stuff. The front, I do like it. She's very, very young here. Obviously, it was in 2005. I don't I don't know how old she was here, but she's very young. Um, I do like the aesthetic of the album cover. It looks very nice. Miranda Lambert, Kerosene. Okay, also, fun fact about me. It's really stupid. I don't know why, but um, nine, 85% of the time when I say Miranda Lambert, I like put an accent on it. Like, I'll say Miranda Lambert. I don't know why. I just do it. Like, I do it on purpose, but I don't know why I do it. I just, 99%, 90, no, 85% of the time I say her name, I say it with an accent. I don't know. Uh, the back artwork is nice. I like how this is like a piece of, like, torn out, I don't know, notebook paper, or sketch paper. It's pretty cool. Miranda Lambert. Going on to the inside. There we go. No, okay, we'll have to figure that out. It's a nice kind of grayscale. Kind of CD, nice picture of her there. Nice picture of her there. Um, more pictures and the lyrics. Y'all know how much I love the lyrics in there. Another picture. Another picture of the light. There we go. Oh, she's very, very young here. And thank yous. Yeah. So that's um, pretty much it for the inside of the album. It's very nice. You can. Mm, I don't want. I don't know if I want to say you can tell it's kind of older. Mm, I don't know. But I do like the design of it and everything. Anyway, so, um, for my top three songs on this album, my favorite song on this album is, um, track nine, which is Love Is Looking For You. Um, I really like this song because of the instrumentals and the lyrics. The lyrics are very, very good, like... Let me see, let me pull out some of the lyrics for you, just so I can give an example. Um, oh, perfect. Um, like, just some of the lines are very, very like, oh, yeah, I understand that. Like, that line right there where it says, maybe you've been burning, but you can't blow out a flame that you can't find. Or, or the first line is, maybe you're just jaded from some nobody's unforgotten words. Um, maybe you're just uh, faded a little gray from every time that you've been hurt. 
And then it says you're looking for your skin that you never did fit in. And I don't know. I just really, really like that. And and then it turns, she's like, love is looking for you at the end of the course. But then she says, the last line is, I've been look or the last three lines is, I've been looking for you. So, yeah. Uh, that's part of the reasons why I like that album, that song. Um, my second favorite song on the album is track three, Greyhound Bound for Nowhere. And in this song, she's um, basically saying that she was in love with this guy, and he was in love with her, but another lady came along, and he didn't love Miranda as much as he loved the other lady, and so she's on a greyhound bound for nowhere because she had to leave. At least that's my interpretation of the song. Um, if you have a better interpretation, please go ahead and uh, let me know what it is in the comments down below. Yeah, but some of the key lines I think in this song, or ones that I really liked, was um, you stood, and the way you stood staring as you watched me roll away, she loves you and you need me, and there's some things we can't share. And I'm, I'm on a Greyhound bound for nowhere. And I like that that rhymes. That sounds really nice. And the instrumentals on the song are also really, really good. Oh, and then um, another part of the song that I really, really like is, uh, I believe it's in the second verse. Yeah, it is. The second verse, she says, My heart's analyzing every word you said. Did you take me for a fool or did you really care? So she's trying to figure out, well, did, did you actually care for me like you say you did? Or did you just think I was too stupid to, you know, do this or whatever? And then, um, the last two line, or the last line, I thought was interesting, because she says, we're all on a greyhound bound for nowhere. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it means. I kind of want to think she's, like, kind of talking about life. But, um, I don't know. Again, if you have an idea of what that could be, or like your interpretation of it, whatever, go ahead and leave, or uh, let me know down in the comments. Love to hear what you think. Oh, and then, <laughs> my third favorite song on this album is the last song, track 12, Love Your Memory. Um, for me, I take this song as um, someone like, that you used to, like, date or, you know, whatever. But they're no longer in your life. And so it's still hard. And you just you just want to love their memory. Because actually, like, um, seeing them or being there with them or looking in their eyes or even missing them would be very, very difficult. And so you just want to kind of, like, no, I just want to love your memory tonight and just kind of let it go, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, that's another one that I really, really like. Obviously, I'm... <laughs> uh, duh, because it's on my top three. But yeah, um, that's a really good one, I think. Um, okay. Now, my least favorite songs. My first least favorite song on this album is um, track 7, which is Me and Charlie Talking. I'm going to go ahead and pull up some of the lyrics because I haven't listened to this song in a little while. <sighs> okay, so this song, I don't particularly... Mm, I think it's mainly the delivery and the instrumentals that I don't like about it. I don't really care about the lyrics. The lyrics are fine. Like, I just don't particularly enjoy the lyric. Fudge. The delivery, not the lyrics. <laughs> Contradicting myself. <laughs> what? No, I, I don't mind the lyrics. I don't like the delivery or the instrumentals as much on this song. Um, I Wanna Die, which is my second least favorite song on this album. That is track eight. I don't particularly enjoy this song. I would probably say because of the delivery as well. I 
don't know. I don't hate this song, but I don't particularly enjoy it. Like, I'll listen to it once in a while, but it's not my least favorite. But, no, my least favorite on this album is uh, Bring Me Down, which is track six. I don't, mm, I just don't like this one. I mean, I think the delivery is fine, I guess. The, I just, I don't, I think it's, I don't really like the lyrics. I don't know. I just don't really enjoy this one very much. Not really sure why. It, it's, oh, uh, well, it's kind of annoying, too. Like, I don't know. There's, I don't particularly enjoy it. It's not awful, but it's not fantastic either. But anyway, yeah, that is uh, Miranda Lambert's debut album, Kerosene. Um, I would give this album out of 10, let's see. I'd probably give it uh, a 7 out of 10. It's not awful, but it's not it's not her best album, that's for sure. But um I would definitely definitely recommend um checking it out and listening to some of it. Um it's a very very good album. So, um, I think that about wraps it up for this album review. Um, just remember that I do now have an Instagram account for this YouTube channel. It's uh, Mixmaster336. So if you want to go check that out, that would be cool. You might find something you like on there. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, that's about it for this review. Uh, thanks for watching and keep an eye out for my next video.